<laughs> oh, hello, hello, Professor. Oh, hello. Um, is it true? <laughs> the other, the other weekend, about about two or three weeks ago, in fact, that you had your first pipe smoking experience. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes, I did. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Um, <laughs> yes, we were, we, we were, we were out, out in the countryside. Um, yes, it was, it was very pleasant. <laughs> did anything? You know, want to all happen at all, or do any? Funny you should mention that. Between me and you, between me and you. <laughs> and I should imagine this is a problem that most novice pipe smokers happen. It happens to. I had my pipe in my mouth, enjoying the, the lovely tobacco that my uh, my friend here uh, has, has given me. Circular Navy cut. Circular Navy cut. Very, very pleasant it was. And I was getting the hang of the smoking and keeping it alight. And I needed, um, I needed to uh, relieve, relieve it, yourself. I needed to relieve myself due to the proper beer I've been drinking. <laughs> and so, with pipe in mouth, <laughs> with pipe in mouth, went into the uh, convenience. Into the conveniences, as we call them over here. Yeah. And they're yeah. often they're not that convenient. And. Um, Unfortunately, unfortunately, and 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 rather <laughs> shockingly, open my mouth to say something, and unfortunately, the pipe fell into the urinal. <laughs> now, it wasn't actually. No, it's my, true. It it's absolutely true. I saw. I was there. <laughs> now, it was. It was, in fact, Milverton's pipe. So. Yeah, one of my, my James Upsalls, I believe. It was a yeah. lovely pipe, a lovely pipe. A Dublin um, shape? I don't believe it's done it any harm, and I'm sure. <laughs> that, uh, I, I think it's just added an extra quality to it. W myself. Would you uh, would you recommend to other pipe smokers seasoning their briars with urine? I'd say it's definitely something worth, worth considering. <laughs> <laughs> to get the, um, to get the, to get the, uh, the extra special... <laughs> A kind of nuttiness. The nuttiness, I believe that I've, I've discovered something. <laughs> I would advise all you pipe smokers out there on YouTube, like, seriously, think about giving it a go. <laughs> oh, hello, hello there, Professor. Uh, hello. You seem to be uh, enjoying a drop of uh, proper beer. Yes, once again, I'm enjoying a drop of proper beer. This one is uh, Winchester Ale from um, the Itchen Valley Brewery, one of our one of our local favourites. Um, it's 4.2% uh, ABV and it's um, fairly traditional, sort of nutty English uh, English bitter. Um, very pleasant, has its own distinctive uh, distinctive taste. Sort of um, fairly standard bitter bitter colour. Um, very enjoyable, very enjoyable. The Itchen Valley Brewery um, from uh, New Oldsford in Hampshire. 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 Ah, Once again, they've uh, <laughs> done a good good job. They do lots of um, they do a seasonal seasonal beers as well. They do winter ones and they do that gold one as well, which is a summer one, which I think you might have before. So uh, once again, they've uh, they've done Hampshire proud. Cheers. Oh, hello there, Professor. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, would you be drinking another proper beer there? I am indeed. I'm drinking Abba Ale which is brewed by Green King and is 5%. It's um, fairly strong, very pleasant, um, sort of fruitiness to it. Um, it's, um, it's brewed by um, one, of the, um, one of the bigger brewers in, um, in the UK, Green King, who um, started off brewing in Bury St. Bury St. Edmunds, um, over um, in the east of um, England, um, and have since um, expanded to uh, own many, many pubs and have taken over um, many, many um, smaller brewers, including um, Marston's, who in turn have taken over Ringwood Breweries, which, as you know, is a brewery close to our heart as it's local. And they oh, we love that brewery, the, uh, don't we? The fine 49 year old thumper. Um, porter. The lovely Ringwood Porter. Um, and obviously there is a concern that when a very large brewer buys up 
a small one that sometimes a lot of the smaller beers brewed by the, the smaller brewers um, die out and it could actually lead to a lack of choice so Abbott Ale I'd say it's a very um, it's a very pleasant beer maybe only a qualified thumbs up for the actual brewer they do brew they do brew the proper beer but they have to be kept a very close eye on to make sure that they're owning some of the smaller breweries doesn't mean a lack of choice for um, those of us who enjoy our proper beer. Um, Abbot Ale is something you'll see all over the country as a um, as a draft uh, draft beer. It's absolutely we, fine. We have but we have been let down today by this pub. Unfortunately, we were hoping to. Uh, well, most of the guest beers that they've now got on we've drunk. And they didn't have the Ringwood 49. Not today, let's just say not today. Not today. Over, over a period of time. But there you go. Yeah. What can you do? What can you do anyway? I'm having a pint of Abba. I'm feeling very ecclesiastical, so cheers. <laughs> cheers. Yep. Yep. <laughs>